So building off my last post where I was talking about doing page inline editing, one of the really cool things that you can do as part of this that can be very useful is a lot of times when you're creating a page, you may have additional settings you want people to be able to set. And so typically what's going to happen is you're going to put fields on the page that are actually going to show up and fields, uh, you're going to use the list form for those that are actually not. Well, one of the cool things is, is you can actually put fields on the page that are not going to display on the page when the uh, end user actually looks at it. So you'll see here we have our title, our article date, and our content here which is all going to be there. But one of the things you see actually under here is we actually have some additional article settings where you can control the article settings from this panel. So right here we have actually the name of the page and what you're actually calling the ASPX. Uh, and then actually when we display the page we actually have comments and ratings uh, displaying on the page. So what does that look like? Well here we can actually set it again again in line feeling like you're kind of working with one complete package and then we can kind of save and close this and then if we're actually looking at it in display mode you'll see well our article still showing up the titles there but actually now instead of seeing those boxes and stuff we can actually sit there and we can put our comments and actually have that and also our ratings on the page uh, something very useful so that if you have other things if you want them tagging things with metadata whatever it might be you don't have to have people constantly going back and forth between the list form and the page, but you can actually have them all do it here.